Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today we're going to be looking at the Google Play Edition ROM for the HTC One. This ROM should be available for all variants. Today I'm going to be covering the build by Big Shea. This is for the International M7. Now I should mention right off the bat before we get too deep into this ROM, if you like HTC Sense 5, this is not the ROM for you. This ROM is specifically designed to give you the Nexus experience. If you've ever used a Nexus 7, a Nexus 10, a Nexus 4, that's exactly what you're going to get with this ROM. Now the Google Play Edition ROM does include a couple of extra features that those Nexus devices don't yet have. The main feature being the new camera. So if I open this up, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. If we hold the center, our menu comes up, but it is a stacked menu. Uh, so it's just a whole lot easier to use. It makes navigating the menu so much easier. And that's really about all the changes that's been made to this camera. Of course, you're not going to have the uh, Sense 5 camera with Zoe. And that's just something that you'll have to give up in order to be able to use the Google Play Experience ROM. You're not going to have Blink Feed or Zoe or any of that stuff that comes with Sense 5 because you're just going to get the pure, unadulterated, vanilla stock version of Android. This is the way that Google really intended it anyways and I kind of like where, where they're going with the Google Play Edition versions of phones. I hope that they offer those for phones in the future and I also hope that developers like Big Shea continue to port them to our devices. I mean I already dropped 650 on this phone. There's no need for me to go out and buy the same phone with a different OS and spend the same kind of money. I mean, especially when we have the ROM available to us. So big shout out to Big Shea for making that happen. So like I said, basically what you get here is a clean ROM. Since 5 is not really laggy at all in the HTC One, I mean the HTC One flies even with all that extra bloat. It seems to go that much faster when you're running stock Android. So we'll run into the settings and we'll check out about phone you see that we're running 4.2.2. 4.3 is in the pipes. There have been some leaked versions of 4.3 to show up for, I think, the Galaxy S4, maybe the HTC One. I haven't been able to find that ROM yet. And you'll see the baseband version, the kernel version, and the build version. If we go to settings and sound settings, Big Shea has included a Beats audio toggle, so you can turn Beats audio on or off. And then also we have, uh, didn't show you guys this earlier, but if we go back into settings and about phone, you'll see that we have a special kernel here. This is the t Baldwin 4.2.2 kernel, and this can be modified with the Trickster mod. So you can download the Trickster mod application in the Play Store to modify that kernel. Uh, so those things were also included. So what you do get with the Google Play Edition ROM is you get all the Google services built in. You're going to get the Android swipe gesture based keyboard. You're going to get Google Chrome. The, the 4.2.2 camera is included. All of your Google services have been included here. Uh, Google Hangouts is included there. Google Currents, Google Maps, Google Play, Google Music, Google Movies and TV. This ROM has also been pre-rooted. You see that I have Super SU and Super User pre-installed. Titanium Backup is also pre-installed. And that's about all. Overall, this ROM has performed excellently. If we go into settings, you guys can see what kind of battery life I've been getting. So I'm at 22 hours and 80%. This is not my main device, so I should not mention that as well. And we're on Wi-Fi only. But you guys should see... Uh, pretty good battery life on this ROM. Everybody has been singing the praises of this ROM and I haven't heard any complaints. So your Bluetooth should be functioning properly. Your messaging, uh, text messages should be functioning properly. Everything should be working perfectly fine. Quadrant scores are going to be huge into the 13,000s. And this phone is really just moving along great. Lots of speed in this ROM. To install is pretty simple. You need to have Team Win Recovery already installed or Clockwork Mod Recovery pre-installed. Either one of those recoveries are going to work fine and you'll install it like any other ROM. We'll just go ahead and boot into recovery. So we'll power off. And then to boot into recovery, all you're going to do here is hold the volume down along with the power button. 
And then we're going to go down to recovery, just select recovery, and hit the power button. Once we're in recovery, the install is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to do our wipes, and then we'll install the file. You don't have to install a G app separately because they've been included in the Google Play Experience ROM. Of course, we would expect that. We'll go to wipe. We're going to wipe data, cache, and Dalvik swipe to wipe and install it should be in your download folder if you downloaded it directly to your phone so we'll go to download we're looking for Big Shay M7 GPE this is the Odex build I'm not quite sure if he has a Dodex build yet I'm not seeing a Dodex build but you can go ahead and select that make sure that's what you're flashing swipe to flash and then we'll reboot the device the entire installation should take less than five minutes so a few things that I forgot to mention, it does include the Sunbeam live wallpaper, which is what you guys saw uh, on there. And then, of course, it includes this nice new boot animation. This is uh, for the Google Play Edition phones only, so the HTC One and the S4. It's not included in the Nexus devices, although I'm sure those changes will make their way to 4.3 for the Nexus devices. Anyways guys, that has been the Google Play experience on the HTC One. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the HTC One, the S4, the Note 2, and all the other devices that I cover. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next 